Good morning. It's uh, December 16th and it's about uh, 60 degrees out, 1130 in the morning and sunshine. So what we're going to do today is uh, take the hood off, put some more uh, fluids down in the cylinders, add some oil to the crankcase, try and get the bottom end loosened up. And I did purchase a crank off of Amazon to see if we can start uh, getting the motor broke free. So stay tuned. We're going to be dealing with a lot of sun and shadow issues this morning. But what I'm going to do is add some oil to the crankcase and at least get some lubrication down in there and hopefully free things up a little bit. We'll remove the cap and add some fluids in down here. So the main thing is just to get some oil down in that crankcase and start trying to lubricate things to the point where it's acting as a penetrant and hopefully free up anything that's uh, stuck down there. Well, I just finished up putting a gallon of uh, oil down in there. And I know some of you guys will be cringing, but um, like I said, this is a low budget. Can we get it freed up? Can we get it uh, maybe running, at least loosened up? So we put the uh, oil down there, check the uh, dipstick and see where it's at. Yeah, it's plenty high now, but there's no bubbling of the uh, oil on there to indicate any water. So at least that's good. Put the cap back on, and the next thing I'm going to do is mix up some ATF and acetone and dump down the cylinders. All right, we got our 50-50 mix here, and nothing special, but down the hatch it'll go. So I'm um, going to use two hands to steady the uh, container dump it in and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm quite certain there are stuck valves and other damage. Cylinder number one, uh, that one actually filled up to the uh, very top. And then cylinders two, three, and four, they just kept pouring and pouring and pouring away and never topped off. So I'm assuming uh, stuck valves and possibly other internal damage. We have no idea if this engine had been drained before it sat, but uh, I'm gonna do a look around to see where the fluid has gone to, and uh, maybe it's ending up down in the crankcase already. I don't know, but we'll check it out. So I checked the exhaust, and it is dry inside, so it's not coming out the exhaust and there's nothing running out the carburetor and uh, uh, the spillage you see on the side of the engine block that's just that it's spillage from dumping it in not using a funnel but I'm not seeing any place where our mixture is coming out so my only assumption is a head gasket is bad it's gone into the water passages or it's drained straight down into the crankcase already. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the dipstick out and see if we can see anything out of the ordinary. Um, not seeing any indication of our fluid that we added in, but it is really hard to tell where it's going to. And I'll admit I know absolutely nothing about a Ford Model A. My knowledge on this motor is based on what I found on YouTube so far and limited experience working with a couple forts and tractors. So I'm gonna stop for now, do a little bit of investigation, and then I'll be back soon. I went ahead and filled up the cylinders with the remaining amount of ATF acetone mix that I had. And then off camera, I removed the distributor cap and found that the spark advance did become free from sitting the past several days with the penetrating oil on it. And just to show, I'll reach in the cab, and you can see that that linkage is now at least moving. It's working on the steering column, and you can also see that it's working here on the distributor. So at least those things have become free, and I believe it's just going to take weeks and weeks of setting to get the motor freed up. I thought I made a little bit of headway, but not so much. I was hoping that the water pump shaft would 
become unstuck, but the only thing that has happened is now the fan hub is loose, but it is not loose on the uh, water pump shaft uh, inside. So just the hub is loose, so it's spinning on the shaft. Not too hateful, but uh, it's just another thing that did not get uh, unstuck. Uh, while we were in here, pushed out some of the dirt and debris that was down in here at the pulley on the end of the crankshaft. I'll show you the crank that I got. Uh, not that we're gonna be able to do anything with it today, but at least you'll see what was available. So a few days ago, I went on Amazon and ordered a Model A crank handle and the first one that popped up and the cheapest made by or at least supplied by a company called United Pacific made in Taiwan it was around $20 to include shipping this style and I don't know what's original what it should be but this style has a lug wrench built into the opposite end of it overall it appears good quality but it was the cheapest thing I could find to help move progress on this motor. All right, this is going to be some terrible filming right now. And I don't even know if this is going to be in the camera shot or not. So what I'm going to do is put this crank in and just show you that it's not free at all to move. So we got the crank is engaged. And I'm pulling on it, but it, it's not budging at all. So I'll just take it out. Unfortunately, there's just so much debris and junk piled up on this car that it's not hard to get stuck on things while you're trying to work. So uh, we're just gonna have to leave it there for now. And I'm gonna put the spark plugs back in put the hood back on and then depending on weather we may come back in a week maybe after Christmas sometime and see if our mixture has done anything to free up the pistons take care all right well that truly is it for today we'll probably come back in a couple weeks depending on the weather conditions or it may be a significant period of time later but the Main thing is at least we got some better penetrant down each of the cylinders. We'll leave that sit for several weeks at this point in time, especially due to the time of year that it is. And when we come back, we'll see if the fruits of our labor did anything or if um, this is truly destined for the scrapyard. So take care everybody, have a happy holiday season if we don't get back to you for a while and be safe. Well, here's the postscript to this video before I left today. I was uh, kind of intrigued as to what this silver turn handle was. You see it has like a uh, lead screw on it. And uh, the guy told me it was actually to adjust the seat to move it back and forth when there was a seat. So as I'm looking down in here, just looking at the, the running gear and how things are put together. I see this piece of metal sticking out from the leaves. And what is it? Yeah, there's the hand crank. I could have saved 20 bucks. Oh well, <laughs> at least it's here. We have a backup. But you can see that it's actually uh, got the lug nut cast into the end of it. So I'll just set this aside and Maybe if we're lucky enough to get this motor freed up, we can actually do something with it. So take care, folks. Bye.